My name is Terry. This is Adan. And we are doing the density tower science experiment. In this experiment, we will be showing you how to do this and also the science behind it. Before we go into the experiment, uh, we have to talk about density. Density refers to the mass of an object and how tightly packed the molecules are together. Some examples for this is you can take a book or a pillow. So, uh, Iran, can you please bring it? So, you see here, I have a book and Iran has a pillow. Now, um, I can tell the book is more dense than the pillow because um, the weight of it is more heavier than the pillow. This, so, and because of this, you can tell that the molecules inside of the book are more tightly packed than the pillow. The pillow looks bigger in size, it, it's still less dense. Let's put it back. The things that you need for this experiment are a cup, food coloring, honey, and oil. And you will need um, these items. You need these items to test which one will sink and which one will float. I'll show you how different objects float or sink. We will also show you if oil and water can mix together or not. In no matter whatever order you pour in these liquids, the higher density will sink down while the less density will float. Begin the experiment. Uh, Iran, can you pour water first? Next, I will, you know, can you please pour the honey? Oh. Okay, that's good enough. So and after, after, can you put the uh, oil? So, um, don't touch the oil. So, uh, look, do you see, um, you see there's like a different place so the oil comes out first at the top then after the food colored water and then the honey is at the bottom wait a few minutes for so the oil honey and water can settle for some time also i want to tell something that we first pour the um food colored water and then we pour the honey but why come the food colored water is why come the honey is going at the bottom and the food color is going at the middle no the reason to that is density dense so the it turns out that water has less density than the honey and because the honey has more density it sinks to the bottom of the cup and um you see here, uh, we can tell that oil is um, sitting at the top, so it's less denser than water. And also, um, in our questions that we had, if can water and uh, oil mix together, it turns out that they cannot. No water is a universal solvent. Oil is the only uh, substance that cannot mix with water. So um, it's been a while now, and the layers have gotten separated by each other. So um, since these layers got separated, we're going to be dropping items, and we're going to see um, how far they sink. So first, it's going to be a, a nail. So we're going to drop it in the water and see how far it sinks. Turns out that... Uh, I can't even... Oh, no, it's right there. Turns out that it falls in the honey. So you could tell that it's as this it's denser than honey, so it sank to the bottom of the cup. Next, it's going to be a cherry. You know, can you pour the cherry and see what happens to it? So, uh, you know, put the cherry, right and it turns out that it's in the water section right there. No, the food coloring section. I could tell, but um, it's above the honey, so it's less denser than honey, but it's below the oil, so it's more denser than the oil. So, um, this cup. We're going to put it in the wall and just in here and see which category it falls in. I so you see, it's less denser than the oil, so it would sit on top of the oil. Next, it's going to be styrofoam, and we're going to put it in, and you can see that it's more, it's less dense than the oil, so it would sit on top of the oil. So. 
for watching and hope you understood how uh, different uh, densities behave. See you next time and bye.